Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, thank you for joining me again. You know, on the telly, uh, Nigel Farage did an interview with Good Morning Britain. I, I don't know why, you know, certain politicians go on that program because they're not allowed to finish a sentence more often than not, get talked over, argued with. It's really quite annoying. And when I have people on, I let them finish their sentence. I think they call it common decency and manners at the end of the day, but that's another story for another time. One of the things that came up was this talk of a, a potential unification or potential merger with the Tory party. You know, we've got an interesting situation here. We've got a party in power at the moment, which have completely rained on everything that they said they were going to do if they got elected. And any promise they've kept, they've basically broken. And that's not going to free gear care. Uh, Reeves and Angela Rayner and all the rest of it, that's all going to come out in the wash, you mark my words. But before them, the Conservatives they were in, they made a complete cock-up at the whole thing and got completely and utterly destroyed reputationally. And all they do is just bandy about and pass the blame to one another. So this is where we need reform. A reform of some kind. Now, in desperation, and you can see here, Jacob Rees Mogg keeps turning around and saying, Oh, the right should join, the, the church of the right should unify, blah, blah, blah. It, but basically, it's the it's desperate last dregs of a Tory party that know they're doomed. The mainstream media seem to play with this as well. Are they trying to downplay the spectre of reform? Is that, is that what it is? I hear, I hear and I see newspaper articles of Tory politicians coming over to reform. Is that what it is? No, 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 no. I don't think you should touch the Tories with a 50-foot barge pole. I don't think you should touch any Tory member with a 50-foot barge pole. And by member, I mean politician. You know, this is all part of the tainted establishment that's completely ruined this country. You shouldn't have any part of it if you want any confidence whatsoever in your ability to turn things around, in your ability to kick these idiots out of this house, then you must not go anywhere near them. Thankfully, as you can see here, Nigel Farage has stuck the boot in and said, no, there will be no merger with the Tories, there will be no deal with the Tories, I don't trust them. They've blown it. They've had their chance. That is exactly the right answer, and that is the language I want to hear at least. And we'll see where we go from now. I mean, if there was a general election tomorrow, reform's not going to win. Uh, you know, but give it time. We've got council elections. We've got the general election coming up whenever that happens to be. They stand a good chance of effectively replacing the Conservatives, I think. And it's you know there's going to be some seismic shifts coming but i was really pleased to hear that i am not doing a deal with the tories let me know what you think in the comments hit the like button subscribe to the channel thank you for the support of the subscribers and the channel members share me on your socials and i look forward to talking to you again soon toodaloo